Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to today's video. Now, over the weekend, the Elector team released this update to the Chimera Jailbreak. Version 1.0.6 is now available for download, and it fixes a lot of issues. Now, in today's video, we're gonna go over how you guys install this update and whether you guys should. What new features does the actual Jailbreak utility include? because there are actually some useful new features as well as some major bug fixes. So this and more in today's video. Before we start, definitely like, comment, and subscribe. Also visit our Best Tech Info website for more information and download links. All right, so like I said in the intro, version 1.0.6 is now available for download. It basically fixes all of the issues that 1.0.5 had. For some people, it actually would try to restore the root file system when jailbreaking on this version. That has apparently been fixed, and there's also some other background bug fixes going on as well. But there are some major updates with this update to the jailbreak utility, and we're gonna get into that in just one second second. Now, before we actually go and install this update, one thing you guys need to know is you need to update this Rocket Bootstrap package before actually updating the jailbreak utility. This is kind of a very unique situation, but it needs to be upgraded from 1.0.6 to 1.0.7 beta 5 on Coolstar's repository. Now, if you guys are using Celio, odds are you probably already installed this update. It will be pushed to the old jailbreak utility and you can install this before actually updating the physical jailbreak utility. So basically make sure you update that. Otherwise, you're going to experience some major issues, problems with jailbreaking and re-enabling the jailbreak. For me, on my iPhone XS Max, it just went into a constant respring loop. Now, there are ways to fix this if you guys update the jailbreak utility first before updating this package, and we'll get into that later in this video. But let's start off showing you guys how to update this. Now, there are really two ways that I wanted to show you guys in today's video. Let's head over to my iPhone 10 right here. So on the home screen, if you guys open up the jailbreak utility, now this is the old version, you'll be prompted with this saying that there is an update available, something like that. So we can go ahead and click OK and dismiss that. Now the first thing we're going to do is you can go ahead and delete the old version of the jailbreak utility. And it's a good idea not to be in the jailbroken state. You can install the update if you guys are currently in the jailbroken state, but to actually apply the updates after installing the application, you will have to basically re-enable your jailbreak. So just do a quick reboot, delete the Chimera jailbreak application. We can head into a third party application signing service like this. Um, and then basically just locate Chimera right here. Just make sure either if you're using Ignition, Tweakbox, or another version, just make sure it's 1.0.6 that you guys are installing right there. So with the latest version, we can go ahead and click Git, click Install, head back to the home screen, and now it's being sideloaded onto our devices. So now that it's installed, again, just head into the Settings app to trust the certificate. We can actually just go back, click on this one, click Trust, head back and now we can enter the jailbreak utility. So now I have my iPhone 10 updated running the latest version of the Chimera jailbreak utility. The biggest thing, the biggest change I guess you guys will notice is this section right here under exploit selection. Now you have the option to use the original voucher swap which all of the previous updates have been using. Now you can actually use match swap two and switch the exploit used to jailbreak. And this should in theory make it a lot quicker to actually jailbreak and re-enable the jailbreak. Again, you have all the other sections just like normal. This is the only new one. So if I pull up my phone right here on the old version of the Chimera jailbreak, as you guys can see, this section right here is just missing. This is entirely what is new. So I'm gonna go ahead and run a comparison comparing Match Swap 2 to that of Voucher Swap so you guys can see exactly how much faster this new exploit basically jailbreaks and re-enables your jailbreak. Now, one big difference here that I've noticed between the two exploits with the Voucher Swap and all of the previous versions of the Chimera jailbreak, they have recommended if you guys use this to basically jailbreak immediately after your device turns on. Now, in contrast with my experience with using the Match 
Match Swap 2 exploit, it's almost a better idea to let your phone fully turn on and fully boot up for about 30 seconds to a minute and then click jailbreak. Otherwise, the jailbreak utility almost immediately crashes. So I've left this phone on here for about a minute now. I'm gonna go ahead and boot this one up and click jailbreak immediately right after this one turns up using the voucher swap. And then this one has had time to boot up, like I said, and we're gonna go ahead and use the match swap. So I have that one selected. It says it's going to use the match swap to exploit. We'll wait for this phone to boot up and do the test. Like I said, with the old exploit, we're gonna go ahead and click jailbreak almost immediately after booting up. So there we go. As you guys can see, that is how much quicker before this one even gets to step two out of three, we're already on the respring process with this phone. And look at that, the old exploit even crashed out. So it's really hard to get both of these exploits to work at the exact same time doing a test side by side. But as you guys can see, the success rate as well as the speed is that much faster using the match swap to exploit over the voucher swap. Now, like I said, the only caveat is you really, you have to wait about 30 seconds before actually clicking jailbreak. Otherwise the phone will just immediately crash out. I'm not exactly sure why that is the case, but in contrast with using the voucher swap exploit, that can be run almost immediately after booting up. Anyway, here's a side-by-side -side comparison using two shots, but enabling the jailbreak at the exact same time so you guys can get a gist of exactly how much faster this exploit is over here. But again, this is in two takes, but you guys can definitely see the differences here. Anyway, that's a speed test comparison. The Match Swap 2 exploit is not only more stable, but it is incredibly faster. So definitely use that exploit if it works for you. Anyway guys, the very last thing I wanted to cover in this video is how to update the Chimera jailbreak with Surrey. Definitely check out our video on how exactly to install this, but I just want to remind everybody that once you guys have that installed, it's as simple as saying, hey Surrey, Update Chimera. Okay. And that takes you to this screen and you just click install. That simple guys to update to version 1.0.6 with Surrey. Anyway guys, just one last reminder before I go, like I said at the very beginning of this video, you must update Rocket Bootstrap to version 1.0.7 beta 5 directly from Coolstar before actually applying this Chimera jailbreak update. Otherwise your phone's just going to be in a respring loop or you're going to have other problems as well. Anyway, just install this with Celio and then update the Chimera jailbreak utility either via Surrey, via an on-device method, or via the computer method. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. If you guys made it to the end, definitely like, comment, and subscribe. And again, visit our Best Tech Info website for more information as well as the download links. We have more awesome content coming later this week, so definitely stay tuned for that. But until next time guys, this is Tony, signing out.